Hello, everybody. It is Margaret, and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, we have a Goodwill Blue Box unboxing, and I already know a little bit of what we're going to talk about because I opened the box just because I was going to make a thumbnail, which sometimes I do before we get started. I'll just open it and just go like, cheese with the box, right? And straight off the top, I saw something that I deem illegal, illegal jewelry. So this begs the question, should places that sell mystery boxes know whether they're selling things that are illegal or putting them into mystery boxes or say like, I think it's different when it comes to like knockoffs, but I feel like this is something that perhaps jewelry curator, they, they're curating boxes, they might ought to know. So um, we're going to talk about this real quick and then we'll dive into the video. Uh, so what this is, as you may have guessed, is ivory. And I'll put the camera down real quick so you can see it. Um, yeah, just so straight off the bat, I thought, well, let's talk about this since we're here and it's right on the top. And so, yeah, uh, and I'll talk to you about where you can find more information about ivory because there is I've linked a couple sites down below. One is a video I made showing you how to tell the difference between ivory and bone. And then there's another link down there for the Fish and Wildlife Services uh, to talk about the laws because in different parts of the United States and different pieces of ivory, there are different laws that govern those things. But I, I mean, for example, like, yeah, if it's been, I mean, if I go and say, oh, you can't sell ivory. Well, if, that's not entirely true, of course, but you would have to have the documentation that this piece of ivory was from pre such and such time and da 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 You know, like, and that's just not going to happen coming from a Goodwill Blue Box. Uh, there's no way for me to know any of those things. Uh, so it's not worth it. And you can't really put it up on eBay or Etsy because you will get flagged and tagged and have it taken down. I've gotten things taken down just call, using the color ivory. Uh, so... Yeah, there's a lot of different uh, things because like Scrimshaw, I have been able to sell Scrimshaw now. I don't know if any of the rules have changed with that um, because, okay, Walrus Ivory is starting to become more protected now. Uh, so yeah, it, I think if there's any doubt in your mind, definitely check out the Fish and Wildlife Services website, which I'll show you in a second, but I've also linked it down below. And hi, everybody who came live or if you're watching later, hello, hello. Uh, thanks for being here. But I just wanted to make sure because even if you put a piece of ivory up on your eBay and Etsy, maybe you don't know. I think it's really important for those of us who are selling jewelry to be able to identify what we're selling. Um, because even if you're like, uh, you, know, you know, ignorance is bliss kind of deal, right? Oh, I just won't put that it's ivory. I'll put, you know, it's a bone piece of jewelry or something like that. If somebody sees it and tags it, um, you could get your account suspended or even removed. Uh, okay, so let me switch over. I'm going to switch to the, the treasure cam so we can get a really closer look. You're going to get a quick, you're going to get a quick tutorial on on ivory real fast. Okay, so here we've got, let's see if I can get my camera straight. I'm going to uh, focus it real quick. Do, 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 do. So this, I mean, it appears to be an older piece of ivory just from the cracks and stuff in it. I don't know if I can get it to show you sideways like so. So, okay, here you can kind of see it. It's hard to get underneath this camera because it's, then it's too close, right? Let me see if I can zoom in up closer like that. Oh, maybe I can. Um, I'm still playing with it, right? We're still learning it. This camera, pardon y'all. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm too big too. That's not good. All right, hang on. <laughs> I should have a bone detector. Um, so as you can see on this piece, gracious, I may have to hold it hold it up because I'm trying to get it where you can see the part that's right here but if I do it like that you can't see it because it's too close to the camera okay hang on bear with me one second because I think it's important now it's just too close so basically what I'm trying to show you I may have to switch back to the other camera because this one is, is just too too close um, are what's called Schreger lines and Schreger lines depending on which direction the ivory is cut will look or you know which direction you're looking at it from it will look two different ways so it's important to know that one way it'll look like a see all you're seeing here are the cracks that's not what i'm trying to get you to see 
<laughs> let me use my other camera. Hang on. Let me switch it back over. If not, I'll just hold it up really close. Um, so if you're looking at it in one direction, the, the Schreger lines appear like parallel lines, right? They're just, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on here. Dang it. But then if you look at it from another direction, depending on, again, how you are, this is something that is frustrating. Okay, you can kind of see the parallel lines here, right? See, those are the parallel lines I'm talking about. But on ivory, like when you turn it and you're looking at it from the, another direction, you'll see this crosshatch pattern. Let me find it for you. I'm trying to find a good example of it. You can kind of see it there where it looks like, so you see the, the lines going that way for the parallel lines, but when you turn it this way, you can start making out, let's see if I can get it to focus better again. Our treasure cam just wasn't cutting it. I don't know why, it's not cutting it. <laughs> I can't, maybe if I hold it up for you. Okay, uh, I'm not sure you're gonna be able to see it. Anyway, you can see the parallel lines, but in the other video where I share, um, is it bone or ivory? Maybe I can play it so you can see. Hang on. The Schreger lines look like a crosshatch, like ch -ch 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 -ch, like that. Okay, so stop that screen share. I'm going to screen share again. We are going to do the, the video, but I really, really, really think it's important um, for you to know this. So there. <laughs> so this is the video I did for bone or ivory. Like here is the back of a bone piece. Um, but here's an, ex okay, Schreger lines. I have a picture, where is it? Just play it, Margaret. Stop talking and play it. It's going, but I'm talking in the background. I'm trying to get where I can show you. There, okay. So now you can see like that kind of crisscross pattern. You probably could have visualized it without me having to show you. So that's the other side. So sometimes depending on which side of the um, lines you're looking at, it'll look like parallel lines or it'll look like a crosshatch. And then this is the site, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services International Affairs, what can I do with my ivory? And it talks about elephant ivory. It talks about Asian elephant ivory. And then, you know, like, is it legal to give it away or to sell it? Or, you know, you just have to click on the little duty, duty things, uh, plus minus. Can I, you know, where can I donate it, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so that being said, what am I going to do with my ivory? What I have, I don't have it up on my shelf anymore because it's overflowing. I have so much ivory that I have gotten in Goodwill blue boxes, jewelry jars. I have actually rescued it from thrift stores. If I see it, like I got a, a little skinny ivory bracelet that was with a plastic bangle, like hooked together. And I was like, well, I'm going to take that and put it with my ivory at home just to kind of get it out of circulation. And then I am planning on donating it, but I have not done so yet. I just have it just kind of, and I know there's a, I mean, yes, you can wear your own personal ivory. I don't, I just, I mean, I think it's beautiful and I get, and every time I do videos or have, I have ivory in a video, I get so many comments about like, you need to burn it. You need to bury it. All of these different things. I'm like, that's not what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to donate it for ivory education um, when I find a, a good place to do that. So that's there. And I'm sorry that my cameras weren't, you can see the lines on that way, but I really, really wanted you to see the crosshatch pattern. But we just, it looked like somebody tried to cut it. It's weird. I don't know what was happening there. Or maybe it broke and they glued it back together or something. I'm not sure. So it's a bummer. I was really... <laughs> My camera just didn't, you can kind of see it there, kind of the crosshatch pattern. The brightness is kind of hard. You can kind of see it in that angle. Okay, so that's where that's going to go. Ready to do some other um, jewelry? Probably. All right, let's see. Hi in the chat, everybody. Thank you for being here. Let me sc scroll through real quick. Um, yeah, I'd have to look into scrimshaw. The rules end up, I mean, they change. And, and, and another thing to keep an eye on is coral, because I heard that they were going to start um, cracking down on coral stuff as well. But I don't know for sure yet if anything has been passed or etc. cetera. Uh, so, yeah, I, yeah, I'm probably going to end up donating it to conservation efforts as far as, you know, I can look on the website and it'll tell me. Uh, let's see. 
Yeah, I, I and I have, like I say, I have sold Scrimshaw in the past, but I'm not sure if you'll. Scrimshaw is like etched designs, and it's usually uh, what is the is it the Inuit? I always I, I I get it wrong, and people will correct me. So, um, yeah, I I just ivory is attracted to me. Maybe it knows. Maybe it knows. I'll take care of it and <laughs> treat it right. Yeah, I can donate it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they do seem to pop up totally. Um, and, you know, and my grandmother had ivory. It just wasn't. I don't. I don't know if just it's a something that back then wasn't seen as 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 bad. I don't know. Um, but she had she had a, a, a number of pieces of ivory that I still have. So yeah, very popular and expensive. Why do you? No, I don't wear it. Um, and my grandmother had a really beautiful pendant that was ivory uh, with the stone and everything. And it was just, I just couldn't, <laughs> I don't know. I, I think it's beautiful, but I also know, like, I don't know. You think black coral may have restrictions. Okay. And I have a piece of black coral. So, I, and I think I got it from a box, but I thought it was wood when I first saw it and I had to do a little research. Totally. New England fishermen had a scrimshaw tradition too. Okay. Okay, if Susan says right now you have to have a special license or something to import coral, but not to use it, sell it once it's here. I see. Okay. Yeah. Like smoking and racist. Sorry of the age. If only if it was, <laughs> it was over. Okay, let's dive in before things get political. Yeah, fur, fur coats and stuff like that. Totally, yeah. Okay, so here's the box. First impressions, now that we have the ivory part out of the way. And my first impression is like, meh. I see like plastic, plastic, plastic. Maybe there's something hiding in there, you know, in the bottom. Look at that fun earring though. Well, we'll get to that. Okay, let me put the camera underneath the treasure cam, the other cam, not the treasure cam. I, somebody suggested a new name for it and I forgot. Ooh, I gotta pop that back up, hang on. Share my other camera. I need my share my other camera song. Here it is. Um. I started, I, I, y'all would probably appreciate this. I started singing the song to, uh, we were taking a walk today. Ah, why didn't it share? And I was singing a song, what was I singing a song about? I don't even remember. But it was like the cops were driving by or something over there. It goes, the cops, the cops are going by. And then I was just making up this goofy song as we were walking. And I said to my kids, like, who says I can't make up my, my own song? Who says I can't be a songwriter? My kids are like, oh, no one, mom. <laughs> oh, oh, Dennis, thank you so much for Glamour's Closet for that super chat of $5. I appreciate it. I need to give you a sticker. Let's see what we got. I know what I want today. I know what I want. I want a dancing pickle. Oh, no, it's up in the corner. I want the big dancing pickle, please. There it is. Dancing pickle. Thank you for that super chat. I appreciate it. Okay. So, oh, tortoiseshell, yeah, there's restrictions on tortoiseshell. Again, I don't know, again, there's there's some that's okay and some that's not from what I understand. I just don't, because I don't want to, yeah. Okay, so let's dive into this. I have it really super zoomed, and I'm going to zoom it out so we can get a better look. Here it is. So, first impressions, what do you think, guys, guys and gals? Uh, I see lots of beads. I see bangles and leather okay well we'll just we'll make the best of it shall we how about that <laughs> but, but there's frequently there's good stuff at the bottom oh wait is that silver maybe maybe we may have a oh brother here we go <laughs> if you haven't seen oh geez louise i have a giant tangle which is not cool man I don't have my music queued or anything. What's the girl to do? Oh, it's falling. It's falling. This is a mess. Speaking of tortoise shell, hang on. I think we got some. Speaking of, maybe we have to revisit the fish and wildlife side again and see if they have any info on tortoise shell. <clears throat> Let's take a peek at this. Move over, bacon. We've got something leaner. So here we go. Thoughts, maybe not tortoiseshell. What is this? Okay. I need my, my helpful experts in the chat. Let me zoom this in, and y'all tell me what you think of this. 
close that please. So this is, it's not wood. Do you think it's horn? Maybe it's horn. It's super lightweight. Now that I'm holding it, I don't think it's tortoiseshell after all, but maybe it's horn. It's really, really, really super lightweight. Horn, yeah, okay, in the chat. Yeah, once I got it, um, <laughs> that's a crap. Once I got it uh, up, up close, I was like, okay. Just the feel of it and the weight of it made me think at first, like, oh, maybe it's tortoiseshell, but no. Okay, cool. Horn. I don't know the rules about selling horn. I don't sell a lot of horn. I'm going to put it with my ivory one for right now. All right, let's do a quick detangle if we can. I have, I think I put it up already. I have a lot up on my eBay store right now. That's just like like this when it's so tangly and I just can't handle it. I just have been putting it in a tub and I decided, oh, I'm just going to auction that off because <laughs> I just can't. I know some of y'all love, love, love detangling stuff. I, do, I don't which is why I put music over it and speed it up on my videos. If I can't quickly detangle this, oh, look, there's a cute panda. That's adorable. If I, or else I'll find something that I'm like, that's worth getting out. What do we call this? Neck sweat catchers. Uh, it's actually in good shape, but it's like twine. And it's got, yeah, I don't know. Neck sweat catchers, sweaty neck. Here's some kind of fish hook. Uh, can we? Oh, that's a, a nice one. Those beads are cool. Oh, gracious. <laughs> if this is bothering you, my apologies. I'm trying to show you this stuff and not spend too much time detangling it. But that's a pretty cool necklace. Okay, that's a Chico's. That looks like an older Chico's tag. $48? Huh, mama. <laughs> okay. Maybe worth a closer look-see. I wonder if it's broken. Look at that. Looks like perhaps it used to be strung together. Okay. I can't see my chat. Hang on. What are y'all saying? Looks like horn. Hey, hi, Susan. Uh, no rules for horn is... Okay, cool. Hey, thanks for being here, y'all. I have 122 friends, I'll have you know. Take that. Somebody else who has probably that many friends, whatever. <laughs> All right, then we've got this. This one will probably just go into a craft lot. And I'm trying to decide how I like doing these auctions. I've been trying them. Y'all know I've been talking about them. We'll see how it goes. I'm thinking about starting doing just auctions on my channel again uh, because, because I'm impatient. <laughs> I hate waiting. All right, we've got another like Alex and Annie style bracelet here. I have a lot for that. It's like a little lotus. Let me focus that real quick. Focus, please. Yeah, that's sweet. Uh, so I, yeah, I put I put a little lot. They're not all Alex and Annie, but I made a lot of bracelets kind of like that. This one looks like sodalite. What do you think? Fight me. Is it sodalite? It's not lapis because lapis usually has more uh, like black and goldy speckles, and sodalite is more. It's got more white. Yes. Agrees. Knots agrees. I, I have no problem being wrong, and I have no problem looking things up. Thank goodness for the internet. But I call them as I see them, and sometimes I see them wrong. <laughs> but that's a cute one. Oh, gracious, you tangles, I hate you. Yes, yes, it's a strong word. I said it. Then there is a velvety black necklace with a dream catcher. All of these tangles get to go to the side. That's a really sweet one. I might take the time to pull it out. And so is the panda. That's just so cute, isn't it? So delight, yay. So delight for the win. Then we've got this copper bracelet that's, you know, seen a little seen a little damage there. Probably can shine it up, maybe, unless it's been damaged for reals. Oh, we've got a maker's mark. Can we read it without Sabona London? I don't know that one. Oh, wait, we've got more info. Oh, it's much smaller. Made in the USA. Sabona London made in USA. Okay, I'll have to look that up, even though it's got some, <clears throat> a little bit of, mess and wear on it. Do I need to zoom in closer? What do y'all think? We've got another little chain here. Maybe I'll zoom in in a bit. Zoom. We are gonna zoom it in. There it is. Okay, cool. You recently got a blue box with a tag that says ivory whale tooth and black corals. The same kind of, is that the same kind of ivory? Oh, I mean whale tooth I'm, it's not like, 
elephant ivory, but I don't know the rules and restrictions on that. Pardon me. So how's your day going, everybody? Are you having an okay day? I mean, the full moon was just the other night. Did that stress you out? How was your full moon night? Do y'all follow the full moons? I have been this year because I'm trying to get the kids and I out like doing a walk on the full moon nights because I thought it'd be fun. So, yeah. There's a cool earring. I really hope we find the mate for that. That does look like it's probably maybe bone carved, but that's a nice one. Set that aside. Maybe. Ooh, hang on you. You're pretty. So the, the other day I had that um, bracelet with a heart that I thought was um, turquoise, and it might actually be Laramar. You guys were quick to help me out with that. Look at this stone, y'all. <gasps> okay. I don't know what it is, but it's amazing. Help. <laughs> So it's got turquoisey colors and green colored like turquoise, but then it's got these purple splotches. And there are tons of different kinds of turquoise, but I'm not saying for sure that's what this is, but this is so interesting. I would definitely take it off this neck sweat catcher and put it on something, <laughs> something better, something it deserves better, honey. You got out before the rain tonight. Oh, nice. Your husband's beard grew longer. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay, so you think it might be an agate? Ooh. There's so many different kinds of agate, it's totally possible. The red is ruby. Oh, this like in here, the purpley red. This is really, really beautiful. Ruby in, okay, I'm going to put it up so I can remember how to say this. Ruby in zoisite. I agree, the red looks like ruby. Okay, this is something we're definitely going to keep to the side to look up and get this nasty string off of it. Who put that nasty string on this beautiful piece? How could they? How could they? It's a travesty, darlings. Travesty, I say. Okay, we've got some naughty, naughty nautical stuff here. We've got a wraparound anchor bracelet. Looks like, yes, yeah, Susan does. <laughs> I'm grateful that Susan is here. So it's one of those that like wraps around does it wrap around again? Maybe it wraps around one more time. It's in pretty good shape. Unless it's a choker. It might fit my chunky neck. This big old... <laughs> Some of the chokers we get are too... No, no, too big. Okay. <laughs> I feel so nice to say, like, something's too big for me. It's too big, y'all. All right. <laughs> but, yeah, the, the leather is in pretty nice shape. I don't know if it's really leather or leather. But, yeah, looks good. So that's a nice one. And people, there are people that love the nautical ones. There's a sorority. That's a good tag, too. Which sorority has the anchor as their, one of their logo? What do you call it when it's a sorority? It's not their logo. It's their, it's not their mascot either. What is it? Um, all right, so here's another nautical one. And this one's got the cording on, it like wraps onto that. That's interesting. But again, I don't like the part because that just gets dirty however this could easily be taken off and put on a, a cord i mean this one doesn't look awful but maybe i'll i'll save all my anchors and make like a nautical a nautical lot a naughty lot again sweat catcher gross but the little turtle's cute this one's plastic little plastic turtle a bright exposure on this though let's see Oh, yay, you got a, a Threaded Box. I keep, I, a, a couple times I've been in the group when they've, when they've shared that the Threaded Boxes have gone live. And uh, I'm not near my computer or I don't have my purse with me. Oh, my gosh, you guys. <laughs> this necklace reminds me of something. Okay, do you follow Kendra Scott at all? I'm going to Google this for y'all. You're going to love it. <laughs> so Kendra Scott is, you know, they sell really expensive jewelry. But Kendra Scott has a Mother's Day bracelet, a necklace out. I'm not joking. Mother's Day necklace. Have you seen this? You will be just as appalled as I am, perhaps. <laughs> Where is it? Here it is. At $48. I probably should have had you guess at how much it is. You want to see what it looks like? I know you do. Here it comes. Wait. Screen share. I'm not even joking. Kendra Scott has a new Mother's Day necklace out. $48, peeps. This can be yours. <laughs> I, 
I mean, for real. What are your thoughts on this? Ridiculous? Yeah, Kendra Scott, Mother's Day necklace, 48 smackaroos. Mama! <laughs> I would I would like it more if my kid just made it for me. <laughs> I'm not even joking. <laughs> ah, I'm like, kids, just make me one. I can get you some of those little plastic beads. Bring it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> was, that, was it edible? No, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's what I when I saw that, I was like, this has to be a joke because it popped up in my uh, like my Facebook feed or whatever, like one of the little sponsored ads. I was like, what in the world? <laughs> I can't wait to tell you all about that. Yeah. So this is what that reminds me of. I can give my kids a tub of those and some plastic letters, beads and they can go to town. Right. They can make me 10 of them. 20, 30, 40. How many do you think they could make for 48 bucks? Oh, Kendra Scott. What are you doing? All right, we've got another nautical one. But this one's on red. Say it on looking. <laughs> I'm so glad you were as outraged as me. <laughs> okay, look up. Looks like okay, the red one. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna look that up. Hi and I. Okay. Let's see. I was looking back to see if I saw the, the sorority. I can't remember what it is. Um ba -ba 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 -ba. at least 300 of them, yeah. Okay. For 48 bucks, it better be edible and cook, right? It needs to make me my Mother's Day dinner as well as whatever else. Okay, look, not. We've got a big tangle. In the tangle, we've got, look, a little, aw, cute. Somebody's little cutie. We've got a spiky necklace. I'm sorry I'm not going to detangle at all because it'll take too long, and then you'll hear me say too many curse words, and I try to make this family-friendly if possible. So this bracelet's cute. It's got a missing stone, but it's super magnetic. That'd be a good one to take when you're garage sailing. Look at that. Uh, very, very magnetic. Okay, cool. So basically the rest of this, because I just don't want to get in there with y'all. I'm not even joking. I'm not, <laughs> I don't want to have, oh, look, more nautical stuff. Somebody was in a naughty gold mood. It's pretty. Okay. Let's get out something else, shall we? My mom would have smacked me. <laughs> Kendra Scott is detached from reality. Yeah. <laughs> Delta Gamma is Delta Gamma is the anchor. Okay, cool. I was like, I know there's there's a, a sorority that has that. Okay, this is one of those. Is it a light up one? Does it still work? How does it work? Can we do it? I don't know if it's gonna work. I feel like these are the kind of beads that light up if you know how to do, make it work. I don't know how to do it though. Oh well, moving on. <clears throat> oh gracious goodness. I'm bringing it over. I'm cutting across the, that was loud. This, this would have been a good one to do camera down pre-recorded because there are a lot of tangles. Nope, that's not going to work. Here we go. All right, so we've got some faux pearls. Scoot over, y'all. Um, yeah, just a long strand of that. That'll. I have a pearl, pearl lot going, so I can throw that in there. And what else have we? Part of a best friend bracelet, necklace, something. What is it? Oh, just a charm. Okay. I really like these this I want to see what it is because it looks like it's all connected and it looks like something I can put on my head which is always enchanting oh I think we have disentangled it for the most part perhaps here we go we're going up one two three up uh oh some people love the detangling that's why I was like I'm just gonna throw all this stuff in a big lot and I'm gonna sell it in a lot let somebody else detangle it. Uh, yeah, and, and there are lots of people. Oh, I got that out. Okay, wow, good job, Margaret. Here we go. This is work. How are you working? Some of you are over on the wrong side. Look at this. I love the colors. I would never wear it, though, because it is just loud, like that sound. Do, 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 do. Look, King Tut. Oh gosh, Steve Martin, you're a genius. Uh, 
yeah, so it eh, doesn't look so good on my head. And I messed up my hair a little bit. But I think the colors are great. I think somebody would really, really like that with the colors and all. Wow, it's like a bib. Hmm. Okay. That is quite a piece. <laughs> all right. Um, Shiva, yeah. Hoping this lot is like the last one ends with a gold crop. Right? Remember? Now I want to dig. Okay, let's move it. So next we've got this necklace. Like there's a little, it's like the earth. It's like the earth. It is the earth. This charm appears kind of different colored. Let me see if I can get my magnet. Magnet, where are you? Here you are. I found you. So that part's magnetic, but stop it. That part is not. The jump ring. It's jumping on the jump ring. So, shall we look closer? Treasure cam, friends. All right, treasure cam. Away. Form of. Please let this earth be gold. Probably not, though. Ah, magnet. Did you. See if we spy any marks, shall we? Just because it's not magnetic doesn't mean it's gold. But it doesn't hurt to look, right? I think we looked at this side already. Let's look at it. Eh. It's really a nice charm, though. Little pendant. Nothing up there. Mm, nope. But it's cute. I like it. Okay. Let's switch back to the other one. There we go. Uh oh. Oh, you saw Steve Martin perform that one time he was on. Did you really? Oh, how exciting. <laughs> I love. I would love to see him. Oh, he's just amazing. And I hope he knows it. He seems really humble, but who knows, right? <laughs> who knows? I, I know he's touring or he was touring with uh, Martin Short. So I don't know if they're still going to pick that up again after all that. That would be so fun to see, though. Because they feed off each other so well. <laughs> right? Wonder Twins. <laughs> Form of an iceberg. I'm, da I'm aging myself, though, right? <laughs> with the Wonder Twins references. <laughs> All right. Then we've got a shell necklace. Let me zoom out a teen so y'all can see it a little bit better. Do y'all remember Wonder Twins? Wonder Twins activate. It was like Saturday morning cartoons. We didn't get cartoons all the live long day like they do now. It was like Saturday morning. That's a little metal there. Back. What does it say? I can't read that. We'll have to look over. Is that? It's not Marianne, is it? Let's go. We're switching cameras again. Treasure cam activate. Form of. Is this French? What say you? Uh, there's some numbers. And that says B and w, B and W. Let's look at the face. I don't think that's Marianne. Marianne's like the French one. Who do you think she is? He, she. The nose looks Greek, right? Like, but I don't know. It could just be a random medal for participation. Good job. You participated in the battle. You didn't break your sword or get it muddy. You get a participation medal. All right, then, uh-oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, wild and crazy, guys. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, it looks like Alexander the Great. Okay. So we've got this, which, come on now. I mean, these little doobie things would just, itch me, right? It would just poke me and I'd be like, ah, there's a bug on me. No, it's just your necklace. But somebody will probably like this. That chain doesn't belong to it. What do you think? There's a glass bead hanging from it. Maybe, maybe somebody would be like, yes. This is my talisman. Oh, gosh. Okay. We've got another cross here. Looks like a piece of a rosary. Yep. 
That, that's a nice one. It's got some brass. That says Italy down there. Yeah, that's a nice rosary. I think I have a little rosary lot going over there, so I can put it with the rosaries I've got. I want to see this necklace with all the sea stars. But from, I think there was, well, sorry, I know it's all tangly. There's some little gold coral looking pieces, and I thought I saw a stone missing. That's a cool one. If there aren't any stones missing, I mean, the finish is kind of like rubbing off on this side of it. But let's see. Yeah, maybe it's all right. Um, no, yeah, it looks okay. So that's in the back of there. The maker's mark is. What was that? A TB or a JB? I don't know that one off the top of my head anyway. All right, then we've got all of this. And that's a cute little boat. Looks like it's missing something. It has a hook. Oh, maybe it's just for that. Oh, that's cute. Okay. That looks like it might be silver. No, no, that does look like it's missing something. Something's supposed to be dangling from that. All right, we'll set it aside. Ready for more? I know I am. Okie dokie. We've got this feng shui unity necklace. All right. Maybe I ought to wear that. Find some unity. I'm going to pour some, okay? How about that? Lots of angles, I see. I don't want to pour all of it. But how do you like this? Do you like the camera down? I'm, I'm having the camera down a little bit more. Then popping it back up. Used to do the Wonder Twin fist bump. Yeah. yeah, there's a serious ocean theme happening here. True, true. Ah, I don't want to lose you. Okay, I'm pulling it up. Oh. Okay, there, there, there. Do you like? Do you like it like this, where it's staying mostly down? As long as you don't mind the detangling bits. I mean, there's not really much else I can do if it's... <gasps> Look at this. Ghoul just slide over. All right. I hope we find the mate for that one. That's got inlay, mother of pearl. That's really pretty. I like that. Set that to the side. A uh, few beads and plastic rings. There, I saw a couple of these in there. Just kind of like little rings like that. We've got a stretchy bracelet. The stretch is okay with this one. I just wonder. I guess somebody buys these. Probably just go into a lot. This is a nice bracelet. Talk about under the sea. Are they making a live action Little Mermaid? I feel like I read they were. Poor Little Mermaid. Loses her voice for a man. I'm <laughs> sorry, my man. All right. Yeah, that's a nice one. I like that. I I always have to look up the kinds of shells because I am very bad at remembering the different shells. All right, then we've just got some bits and pieces here that can go over. I feel like you don't really, I'm kind of off to the side, but I guess it's okay. You're not here for me. You're here for the jewelry, darlings. That's a nice little earring too. Looks like a chain link. And I'm gonna set that aside so we can find the mate. Here we've got little bangles. If I can get them detangled. Uh, uh, <laughs> little bangles made of ticky tacky. Little bangles on the hillside. And they all look just the same. Almost. And they're all tangled up with this other stuff. <gasps> See, this is where I start going. <gasps> <laughs> help me yep okay that's where we stop all right <laughs> I'm gonna put that into the pile and then this is a choker oh now you come apart okay great a nice little black choker with these little bicone dangles all right off you go you've lost your screen time privileges another one of those this is a Laura earring. I don't know that brand, but we'll see if the mate's there. And a 
silver, silver tone bead bracelet. I'm trying to see if that says silver on there. My two five. I don't know. No, I don't see it. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty. Those glass beads. Yeah, those are glass. And that one looks really pretty. Kind of like the Millefiori glass kind of set into it. That's weird. Not weird, weird, but good weird. I like it. I like it. Then we've got this wannabe disco ball. But you just fail. This is not this is not right. I mean, how do we think? What do we think? Watch me pull it up on my ear. I'm like, oh, that's not that bad. Hmm. What do we think? I don't see the mate in there. <laughs> like your balls, Margaret. They look good. <laughs> I'll leave it there. I won't dive too deep with those jokes. How about that? I spared you. You're welcome. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. <laughs> I like this earring, too. That's really nice. I hope I find the mate for that, because I think that's one I would wear. I like it. Then, <laughs> yeah, three tangles later. Yeah. Oh, SpongeBob. My kids have mostly gotten out of the SpongeBob phase. Thank goodness. More little bangles. This one appears to be once upon a time, perhaps. I guess it's still a uh, Alex and Annie, but it's missing charms. It's kind of got that rose gold look to it. It's got the little flag. What does that say? Yeah, Alex and Annie. I mean, it's nice. I like the rose gold. Butterfly. We've got a butterfly brooch here, enamel, and just some bling. Looks pretty good. I think I've got a butterfly lot I'm, I'm collecting for over there. So I'll stick that with that. Little Claire's necklace. I definitely have a Christmas lot going. So this looks like Rudolph. Where's your antlers, Rudolph? Oh, poor thing. They're gone. Oh, well. You can go with my Christmas lot, too. And Margaret with the disco ball earrings, right? Yeah. <laughs> Do y'all have any big plans this weekend? Anything fun going on in your world? Ah, another one. That's a nice one. So that'll go to our Christmas lot that we've got going. And I say R. I don't know why I do that. It's just me. More pearls for my pearly lot. This is one of those ear crawler earrings. Where it's got the clippy for the top part of your ear. And then the pierced part. I don't ever wear those. I think they would look weird on me. Would it? It's a bit blingy. I mean, I like a little bling, but that's a lot. Like that. Hmm. Eh? That, I, that's what I'll do when I, how about when I get my um, my hearing aids when I get older? I will bling the hex out of my hearing aids. How about that? <laughs> I bet there's a market for that. I got to I gotta get on that now. You went to the beach today. Sweet. Very cool. Those ear crawlers are doing well on eBay. How about blinged out hearing aids. I know most ladies want to, or I guess gents too, they want to hide their hearing aids and so they want tiny ones. But maybe just bling them out, right? Like loud and proud, please. Eh? All right, that's cool. I like these little um, charms on that one. Say it loud. Say it proud. More little bangles, little bangles, little bangles. Then we've got this one that are like painted wood on, I don't know. I don't like it. And, ah, snow still in lockdown till June. Where are you, Roxanne? Are you, UK is until May, right? So I don't know if it's the UK. Stop. Yeah, this is nice. Okay, let's play name that flower. If you were a flower, which this is trying to be, what flower would you be? Do you think it's, it's not a tulip, is it? Or, I mean, the leaf makes me think of some kind of lily, but I can't think of a lily that is that kind of chunky like that. Where are my gardeners? <laughs> yeah, you can't see that. Yeah. 
the hearing aids, right? My moms are so tiny. So there's that. I don't, I don't even know. A dead flower. But somebody might like it. It looks, oh, is there a maker's mark on that? We're going to go to Treasure Cam. There's something written right there. <laughs> treasure Cam. Away. Form of whatever tiny flower this thing is. Here it is. Can we read it? Something made. Really? Did they put made in something, but then like covered it up? Made. Oh, it, the suspense is not really killing me, but we can pretend. <laughs> what are you? What are your thoughts on that? <laughs> Great, thanks. So I can't see it, and the the leaf is not movable. It's like fused on there. What are we supposed to do now? Somebody thought this through. <laughs> Jack in the pulpit. It is not magnetic. It is, oh, look at this. Got, is This is called a trombone, right? Zoom it. Y'all tell me. Maybe this is older. Maybe I'm not giving this crazy flower enough credit. We're zooming in, peeps. Is this one called the trombone? latch or whatever like so like so all right let's focus please all right we've got another mark where'd it go there like that cue that is quite frustrating so it lo looks almost gold yeah it just this, okay, if you're a gold nerd, it doesn't sound gold, is it? Union made, right? Because, tell me my gold peeps. Can you hear that? If you had gold of this size and this thickness, would it sound, I don't think it sounds like it. <laughs> Union made, okay, cool. I'll put it to the side though, but I don't think it's gold. Yeah. Almost gold. Is it like anything? Yeah. You think it's his handmade? Okay. <laughs> yeah, once you get like a solid gold piece, like it has a certain sound to it. So you can almost, and again, I'm not, I am no expert as you can quote me on that. But I'll, I'll pop it in my pile to test, but I don't think it is. Zooming out. We got a puppy. Puppy. It's cute, and it's got little blue speckles, and that sails A-A-I. I don't know what that is, but okay, cute. No, puppy. I saw a video of a little piggy today. That made me really happy. <laughs> uh, I just thought I needed to share you that, share with you. A friend of mine always shares, like, cute animal videos and stuff. Thank goodness for my friends who do that. Because otherwise on Facebook, oh, it's just depressing. But she always shows like little cute animal videos. And it just brightens my day to see them. Ah, okay. So we've got a locked necklace. That's what's going on with this. That's nice. With the blues and the yellows. Kind of green. Yeah, that's a nice necklace. So we'll make that. I feel like I'm showing the item as well as I probably could. There we go. Cool. That's a nice one. AAI. Okay. Accessories Associates Associates Inc. Oh. You found an 18 karat gold old pin. Oh, sweet, Bonnie. Mm -mm -mm. Okie dokie. I wanted to look at this earring. I don't know. Yep, yeah, never mind. Okay, that answered that question. But look at this earring. It's blingalicious right there. Oh, I hope the mate for that is there. I like that. It's got all the colors. Let's see. How does it look on me? Thoughts? Yeah, I like that. That would be cute. Again, setting it aside. Hang on. Suddenly forgot how to do this. Right there. 
Yeah, I mean, so far, just kind of like, meh. Oh, that's a fun clip-on little sunflower. I keep, uh, this one's got a lot of solo earrings, unfortunately. How about this? What are y'all making for dinner? <laughs> Since we're just a gray. Mm. Oh, this is a nice one. Move aside, everybody. We've got this really pretty pendant. Flip it over. It looks like it is silver. It's marked there. Then this part, what do you think? Hmm, let's take a think about that one. It doesn't feel, I mean, it, what do you think? Leftover meatloaf sandwiches. <laughs> so this one, I mean, I know we were talking about tortoiseshell. It's definitely marked 925. I think it's silver. It could just be plastic in there. But, um, I don't know. Oh, the boys are having chicken fajitas. You're having bone broth. Are you getting a colonoscopy? Can't eat anything solid. Tell me if I nailed it. All right, so, yeah, this one, I don't know. Like, I would have to test to see, but it could just be. Here's the thing. Like, as I'm looking at it sideways, I don't know if you can. Oh, you have IBS. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm not sure you can see, but like you can see that the brown doesn't go all the way through. You can kind of see into. You think tortoise too? Okay, it could just be plastic. But again, tortoise shell will feel kind of plasticky. I'm trying to switch cameras to see if you can see what I do. You see what I see? Let's see. A little. I'm trying to see if you can see the depth of of it. Like when I kind of turn it. You can see that the dark brown doesn't go all the way through. So what I would probably do is dip it in hot water, honestly, and uh, see what it smells like. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Oh, I, I didn't switch to the right camera. Hang on. Let me switch again. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Yeah, so I can... Um, because tortoise shell will feel, it's it's really lightweight, so, and feel, you know, kind of plasticky, kind of. It's hard to explain. So, yeah, I can dip it. If you dip tortoise shell in hot water, it'll smell kind of like burnt hair. And I don't know if the silver will interfere with that or not, but it's worth a try. It's worth a try. Okay. Next, we've got this necklace. Okay. Let me zoom it back out. As you can see, some of the silver, the gold tone is rubbing off of it. So, meh. Meh. We still have the bottom. Oh, ugh. Ugh. It just, it just is sweat catcher. I just don't understand. I guess it's okay if it's your own sweat, but gracious goodness, I don't want it. More bangles. All right, everybody else move aside. Let's look at something else. Oh, this is a nice one. That's a kind of a cool earring. Okay. Then we've got this little bow earring. Not earring, pendant. And it's got a stone set into it. And then I thought I saw, no, never mind. I thought I saw a cartouche on the back, but I did not. I thought that down there was maybe the maker's mark, but it's it's not. It is not. All right, we're going to dump the rest. Want to? Maybe I'll just pull a few things first. Gracious. All right, this is a big, ginormous pendant. Swirly, twirly. Somebody will love it. Except, look. See? It's got this wear, so I don't know. I'll probably just end up putting it into a, a lot. But I bet when it was first, when somebody first got it, it was really spectacular quite a statement piece. Then we've got this American Eagle, probably an anklet there. Oh, you can't see there. American Eagle anklet and a little tiny giraffe charm. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. 
Okay, there we go. I'm going to pull the box. All right, we're going to dump it. Oh, is that silver? Got a little ring there. That might be. I'm looking at this ring. Ooh, petroglyphs. Hieroglyphs. We're dumping. Here we go. Oh, rats. What have we? You see anything good? I don't either. <laughs> oh, gracious. Okay. That's a, you know, little cameo. My exposure's on too hot there. I mean, it's not a real, real cameo, but it's cute. I'll save you. You look like Amber. Yep, that's just a rock. Stretchy faux pearls. Let me move things to the side and kind of bring them over. Eh. Y'all, this this one so far has been kind of meh. I bet I'm glad we're hanging out. That's really what counts, right? This is a nice earring. If the mate was there, that would be awesome. Put that to the side. This one, too. This one is Funkalicious. Yes, it's an earring. Let's do this. Let's pull it up. That's the way. I feel like it would be so crooked, though. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I like it. Look! Wouldn't that just make you smile? I love it. That would. I mean, those are huge. If I had two of them, wouldn't that just brighten your day, though? I think it would. If you saw somebody wearing... Ah, I just clicked the wrong button. Sorry, on my screen share. Do over. Yeah. I think it would really just brighten your day. I love it. I'm going to save it. Maybe the other one will turn up. I feel like we had this one. Keeps getting shuffled around. Another little ring. This one reminds me of David Rose, only it's not big enough to go on my... He has all those silver rings on his fingers. Hmm? Okay. Uh, gracious. I feel like I'm saying that a lot today. Oh, look, look. We have a winner. Get off of there, you. We have the mate to this other earring. Come on, man. There. Look. Yay, us. We found it. I'm looking along the edge here because that's where Kendra Scott usually marks on, on earrings like this. But I knew, I don't know. It was worth a check. But those are cute. Let's look. I think these are going to be catch and release. What do you think? I think they're cute. If I can make them work. Catch and release? I think so. Yep. Okay. Then that's a win. <laughs> if you can find a nice catch and release piece, you're doing good. Pardon me. My throat's getting dry. Okay. Next. Plastic beads, anyone? Pass. Oh. He went to Jared. No, girl. No, he did not. So we've got a ring here. It's not silver, as you can see. The wear is rubbing off it. But it's a nice little pretty cutesy ring. Somebody might like that. I'll probably put it into a lot. It's, you know, yeah, it's a pretty fun little. Maybe my kids would play treasures with it. Okay. Yeah, I didn't, I need to look back. Y'all, did y'all see? I didn't see if y'all said y'all like this, where I keep it more down or not. I guess it just depends on the day and the mood, right? We've got this necklace. It's kind of unusual in that it looks like perhaps, I wonder if it had, no, I don't think it did have something in there. I think it just looks like that. So kind of a modern necklace, not quite brutalist. What's in between modern and brutalist? Is there kind of a middle ground? That's what that feels like. There's been a couple of these in here. Ugh. No. Oh, look. It's from the latest Kendra Scott collection. <laughs> Joking. But, why? I mean... If I would said that a few days ago, I would not have believed it. <laughs> Maker's Mark, Kendra Scott. Never mind. No. <laughs> All right. I think I've had this necklace before. I think I, I don't know if I put it in a lot or not. 
That does look like silver, only it's broken. So that can go in my silver pile, my scrap pile. This is a nice little earring too, but I don't know if the mate is there. I haven't seen it. I don't think so. There's that one. That's a nice little earring too, but the mate is, I don't see it either. All right. <clears throat> I just am getting disheartened from this box. I want a do-over. I want a do-over. Oh, here's some nice glass beads, though. My sister will like those. That's a nice piece. Wait. <laughs> Tangles! Hang on. I'm getting there. Yeah, some of the Kendra Scott stuff has lost the plot, Roberta says, totally. <laughs> All right, this is kind of fun. I don't like the, the like, suede cord that it's on, but I like this piece. That's, that's nice. I think somebody will really like that. That's awesome. We've got more of those type of rings. This is the glass bead necklace. That's pretty cool. They're kind of rough on some of them. Those have got some nice features, but I have like a bag full of glass beads and stuff that I send for my sister. Oh, yay! Bugs! We like bugs. And it looks like a bead. It is missing some stones. Looks like it's got some tinsel too, though. Why do you have tinsel on you? Is it tinsel? Yeah, it is. All right, so we've got a little bee missing stones. Boo-hoo. Oh, gosh. I'm trying to keep my spirits up for you, but I'm not feeling it. There's some nice little stones. What is that one again with the pink? Oh, gosh. Unikite? But that's the pink and the green, isn't it? I don't think that's what that is. We've got a sweater clip here. That's okay. Oh, I'm losing it, y'all. More pearls, which... What do you think about those? They're very heavy for their size, which is a good sign. Shall we look closer for Knacker? It's got a little bit of a bluey sheen to them. It's got a little box clasp. Let's see if we can see any. We're going to go look in the holes. That's right. I said it. We're going all up in your business, pearls. Here we go. What are we looking for, you might ask? We're looking for the drill hole. To see how it looks. It doesn't look good. I'm trying to focus a little bit better. What say you? Every time I turn it, though, this camera is so finicky. If I turn it, it doesn't stay focused. One more try. All right. What do you think? Oh, I thought I put a new eBay link in there. I'll have to, to, to fix that. Hmm. Where are my pearl people? I know that they're tied in between. Is that like chipping around there? Or yeah, yeah. They, sometimes they get a nice little knacker on it. They get a nice weight to them. But yeah, what is it with pearls getting all grody? You know, because sometimes they just get they feel so nasty. You know, but these ones do have a nice weight to them. So maybe they're a nice um, fakey New Yorker or something pearl. That was a little nice. Oh, I don't have it showing. <laughs> That's that little. Oh, I still have it on the wrong one. Okay, we're coming back over here. A little ring. It's got, you know, looks like cave drawings. Hey, maybe this is from Kenner Scott's you. <laughs> no. All right, then we're just going to get a lot of ground out of that Kenner Scott joke, aren't we? 925. Yeah, that's a fun little ring. Oh, my friends, friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. I have not come to praise Caesar, but to bury him. Um, all right, I won't, I won't go further into Julius Caesar. Yes, I was in Julius Caesar in, in college, but <laughs> that's not what we're talking about. This box, blue bananas. I was not happy about it, and we're just going to leave it there. But it happens, right? So when my friends will say, oh, you, you got, got a good box because you're a YouTuber. 
Now, look, there's a little cute earring the mate was not there for. Looks like a little drop of amber. <sighs> I will try to hide my disappointment. But, as I always say, it's a crapshoot. It's a gamble. And it's for fun. So, I need to turn my frown upside down and just get over it already. The next one could be better. <laughs> right? <laughs> Took one for the team. No, I don't know where this one's from. Um, because... I, when I get them, sometimes I get two and they come in a bigger box and I have just been taking them out. The one I, the last one I got, I, I still have it in there. So I didn't. Yeah. That's right. Sad trombone. I need some, um, sound effects is what I need. Okay. Y'all, I hope you have a really great evening. We're having breakfast for dinner. Talk breakfast tacos, basically I'm making potatoes and eggs and breakfasty tacos. And that's it. That's what we're going to do. And uh, major downsizing. That's what we're working on. Okie dokie. I hope that y'all are having a really great uh, afternoon. And I think uh, I've talked about the, you know, and doing some auctions on eBay, but I think that I'm going to try to do auctions on my channel again, not this Sunday, but maybe the next Sunday after that. Um, so, and I know some of y'all had some suggestions about like, making it move faster because that they can be long when I do it as an auction. So if you have any suggestions about that, leave a comment because that would be helpful because <laughs> I, I like doing them, but they sometimes go long. Okay. I'll talk to you on the next one, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Bye.